I nominated Dr. Eford because he is just a joy to work with. Patient care is just his priority. He, you know, takes staff input into caring for the patient. He's just all around uh, awesome. Dr. Andrew Wall is one of the most patient anesthesiologist doctors that we have. He's always very calm in emergency situations, and we appreciate that. Dr. Pai, in my mind, is a champion of care because she genuinely cares about her nurses, her nursing staff, her patients. She takes the time to educate and explain things to where I understand so then I could care for that patient. I nominated Dr. G. Sudhu. He has great swag and he shows his care by being very objective of the needs of the patient and he's very pro-nurse. Dr. Balikin is one of our volunteers, which all of our volunteers are angels, but this guy is amazing. He goes out of his way if we need him. He's always here, never says no. He's always willing to come and volunteer. Dr. Dickinson is a phenomenal physician that demonstrates compassionate care to all of his patients and to the whole team. Dr. Phillips embodies a champion in care because he's always respectful of the nurses and staff. He's always willing to stay past his shift and do everything he can just to make sure to get the best patient care and help out the team. Dr. Bilar is an awesome doctor. He's a very easy doctor to work with. Anytime we make calls out to, he's very personable. He makes it easy to get our questions answered and to get the medications that we need for our patients and to get any issues addressed. Dr. Gewurz is special because he sees the patient and the team as one. He knows that without the, without the team, you can't help the patient. With my personal experience with him, he, has, he treated my family as if it was his own. Dr. Goebel is just one of a kind. He's unique, he's decisive, he's determined, and we can appreciate all of those qualities. But most of all, he's selfless and he's very compassionate to his patients. Dr. Volkov um, never seems to lose his smile. And every time Dr. Volkov comes down to the emergency department, uh, he comes because we have admissions for the ICU or the inpatient area. If we have a family we know need that gentle touch, he just says, okay, whatever you need. Dr. Hager has a heart of gold. I've heard of him, you know, from patients telling me that if they couldn't find a ride to a faraway appointment that he offered to take them. And, you know, that came from a patient, but I wouldn't put it past Dr. Hager offering something like that. Dr. David Cavaniero is the ultimate family doctor. After my dad died, he sent a sympathy card to my mom, which we thought was so special, and he visited my dad right before he died in his home. Dr. Baez came to my mind as being a champion in care just because he truly cares about his patients. He is, answers the phone anytime you call him. When we're dealing with these life and death issues, it's really nice to be able to have someone at a moment's notice. I love Dr. Heller. He's very helpful and easy to, to get along with. Even we're so busy here, he makes us laugh. And that makes uh, you know, our work more easier when we have a doctor, when we have a good character like that. Dr. Hadcock, um, he's been part of our center for the last 12 years and he's been so important to our, our heal rates and our um, outcomes and just generally um, taking great care of our patients. I nominated Dr. Ruiz. He is a very compassionate man. His personality through the phone is just genuine, humble, pleasant, a very sweet man. I really enjoy working with him. Dr. Peacher is an extreme, kind, and knowledgeable doctor. We can go, always go to him for any questions, even though if they're not his patient and we cannot find a doctor uh, for that patient to go to them. We, always, we can always go to him. Dr. Adniji is a great doctor. I was lucky enough to know him on a personal level and as a nurse working with patients. And everything that he says, he makes sure that the patient understands and how your care is going to be and what is going on and that you feel like you're in a safe place. I nominated Dr. Lawson. He seems very caring about his patients. I had him as a doctor and also my husband did. He just really made me feel very comfortable. I nominated Chris Thompson. What stood out about him is his bedside manner and his, just the way he puts his patient's center of care. He remembers the vows he took when he became a physician and all these years later he still embraces that. I nominated Dr. Urshad. I nominated her for being very calm when you approach her, very, very nice, appro very approachable. And I, I can see her dedication, her commitment to patient care. I nominated Dr. Nadim Rahman. He's really trying to 
make the urology service at St. Agnes just top notch and he just always brings his A game. Dr. Nassar is an amazing physician. He's really good at bedside um, communication with his patients and making sure that the patients stay within that loop and I think that's very important as a patient. Dr. Plenis has always been there for us in the echo department, demanding high quality studies, helping us with education, and always being there so we would be the premier echo department in the valley. I nominated Dr. Seville because I feel he's very approachable. I really think he's calm and I think that's comforting in a, in a hospital environment to be calm and approachable. I've known Dr. Reddy since he came to St. Agnes and he is the epitome of a kind, compassionate physician uh, and he uh, also is very knowledgeable in what he does and he is highly respected at St. Agnes. Dr. Cordova is very personable. He includes the nurses in the decision-making process. And I think that's important because it makes the nurses feel as, as if we're part of the team. Dr. Sakan uh, treats the nurses like we're in a professional way, but also his friends. You know, he, he asks us how we're doing. He cares about us. He's the same way with his patients. Um, very friendly. Dr. Mansourian is fairly new to St. Agnes. He has a friendly quality about him that all the nurses um, like. He's very kind, he's very caring and compassionate, not only with his uh, patients, but also with the staff. Dr. Garrity uh, has just been a refreshing addition to our emergency department. He just somehow manages to stay calm no matter what. He's very gentle with the families. He takes a moment for them. Uh, to just give them time to absorb what he's saying. Dr. Svoboda was one of the very first surgeons that I had the privilege to work with. The first thing that struck me about him was his ability to uh, instill that trust and confidence with the patient. He's truly a clinical expert on, on so many different levels. 